you know, and you either love him or you hate him. <laughs> for many people. And I say that in a positive way, I really do, because Mike Pisano, I've watched him for many years now. And I am impressed by the way that he, um, as a friend of mine, I, I call a friend of mine a barracuda. When she puts her teeth into something, she hangs on. And she doesn't let go. And Mike is that same type of person. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that uh, because he goes after things that he believes in. But he also takes both sides of the issues. The biggest thing that you'll learn about me if you ever get to know me on a one-on-one -on -one basis, number one thing about me is I don't like people who don't think. I like people who think. So if you're in Washington and you're doing a debt problem and you got Republicans and you got Democrats and there's no thought in between, that really irritates me. Mike is one of those guys who thinks, he thinks through the issues. And I appreciate that. And Mike is now coming to share his views. Thank you all for coming out today. Thank you for allowing me to participate. Uh, this is just the beginning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we don't stop here. Uh, this afternoon, from 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock, we will have a rally. A rally along uh, Little Road in Newport Ritchie. Our people from Hernando County, Rose, and others are bringing a bus down. We'll have people coming in from Hillsborough County, from Citrus County, and other parts of the state to propose these unconscionable, unaffordable rate increases. You know, not only when I come before a group, I want to be able to express something positive. But there's nothing positive when there's a proposal on the table that will put people out of their homes and out of their businesses. There's nothing positive when the bureaucracy out of Tallahassee suggests that people in our Tampa Bay area can afford a 2,000% increase. There's nothing positive when a senior citizen walks in my office with tears in her eyes, because she got a letter from her mortgage company telling her you must have sinkhole coverage. And if you don't, we'll find it for you. And as tears come down her cheeks, she asks me what is she going to do because she can't afford the $4,000 increase. And her house is upside down, so she can't get refinanced through another mortgage company. There's nothing positive when a senior citizen and veteran writes me an email and tells me that if these rates go through, he and her, his wife will lose their home. It's very sad, ladies and gentlemen, that when you have the industry in Tallahassee dictating what gets passed up there and what doesn't. A few of us, a few of us stood on the Senate floor and argued against Senate Bill 408 because we said it will have dire consequences. It will create economic crisis in our state, specifically and especially in the Tampa Bay area. That bill was signed into law by our governor. It has barely gone into effect, and we already see the consequences the people of this area will pay. And the private companies are sitting there and waiting because it's as soon as citizens' rates are approved, they will ask for the same thing. And it will go on and on and on. You know, eloquent speeches here today, and they hit it right on the nail. Talk about our housing industry. Talk about people who would like to buy a home in this area but won't. They won't be able to afford not the mortgage payment, the principal and the interest, won't be able to afford the escrow, the cost of homeowners insurance. Who ever thought in our day that when we go to closing that our lender tells us, sorry, we can't approve your mortgage because we just found out that Citizens is raising your rates by $4,000. In Hernando County, it's $5,000. There was a great letter in the paper the other day, I think it was in the Tampa Tribune, St. Pete Times, or probably both, that stated it clearly that their desire to buy a home in the Tampa Bay area was squelched the other day. Because when their mortgage company found out that their premium was going to go up $4,000 a year, another $300 per month, the lender said, no, we're not gonna be able to loan you that money. Because now that puts a huge economic impact on your pocketbook. Now we're all 
here today for a reason, to send a message to Tallahassee, to the Office of Insurance Regulation, to our governor, to our CFO, Jeff Atwater, that we're not going to tolerate these rate increases. This is just the start. From here, we go to the rally this afternoon, and then we go in mass. In mass to the public hearing that OIR, Office of Insurance Regulation, will have on September 13th, and we, can, we fill that convention hall. And we speak loud and clear that we will not tolerate what's going on in Tallahassee any longer. A special session should be get, gotten immediately for the purpose of repealing Senate Bill 408 and putting back in place what already was there. Now, you'll hear from some people saying, well, you know, we have questionable sinkholes. We certainly do. We absolutely do. And Rose hit it right on the nail as well. The checks were being written out by citizens and the insurance companies like, like it was a, a waterfall. But that doesn't mean that honest people who need, want, and are required to have sinkhole coverage be forced to pay the consequences. We need to go back and reverse the decision that was made by a few of my colleagues and by the governor of the state now. Not next year, but now. And we tell the Office of Insurance Rate Regulation, put what was in place already. Those who suggest that the payouts are just astronomical and that we need to be actuarially sound, guess what? We had that in place. We put a cap in there. We made certain that citizens could raise those rates by a small amount each year. But when Senate Bill 408 passed and signed by Governor Scott, it took that cap away, and that's why we're facing the 2,000% increases today. Unconscionable, unaffordable. Thank you for being here today. Let's send that loud message to Tallahassee. Thank you, but no. Thank you.